Okay, I'm going to show you a neat trick to give you a tremendous amount of flexibility working with your inputs, your sound card, and how they communicate with Pro Tools. Now, first thing you want to do is go up to Setup, left-click, come down to Input, Output. Now we can see how our inputs are set up. And this is a unique setup that we've created. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually erase it to show you how to create your own. Now, you may be using the factory defaults and have found that to be limiting. This is going to give you a lot more control over how to set up the relationship between your sound card and Pro Tools itself. And this is a setup that you should be able to use from now on, which will save you a lot of time and, and trouble. So first thing I'm going to do is show you how to erase the existing inputs, basically click on it, left click, and come down to Delete Path. Click that. As you can see, that removed our first input. Continue to do that for all the existing default inputs. Now, once again, we're on the input screen. Delete that. Okay. And what we're going to do now is create a number of stereo and mono inputs that we can use at any time and route in any direction. So the first thing you want to do is click New Path. We've created Path 1. Go over to here and click Mono. Now you may be seeing more or less inputs. We're just going to focus on the analog inputs, not the spit-off or mixed, just analog. So the first thing you want to do on Path 1 once again, create mono, and then click on one. Go down, create another path, click new path, go to mono, analog, two. Continue until you've filled up all of your analog inputs. If you have 16, do all 16. New path, four, mono, and four. Now, once you've done that with all of your analog inputs, setting them up as mono, we're going to create stereo inputs. So click New Path, and this time, come over to here, click Stereo. And you can rename these, by the way. Go to, one again, once again, Analog 1. And as you can see, it also created 2. It's stereo. It automatically selects 2 sequentially. Okay, let's create the next one. Path 6, Stereo, and go to your next open slot. Once again, continue that all the way through all your analog inputs. And when you're finished, go down to the bottom of this screen and click OK. That's going to bring us back to our standard view here. And let me reset that for you. And make sure you have your input-output module turned on, on the track itself. And here's how to do it. If you don't see a check mark, and you're looking on the screen like this, go down and click Input-Output. Now what we want to do is create a track. And I'm going to show you, you now have the power to actually route this in any direction you see fit. Click New and opens up this window. And we're just going to create a mono input at this time. Create one new mono audio track in samples. Click Create. Now here's our new channel. And if in the past you've had, let's say, your microphone on channel one and that worked great and you went on to your next track and you couldn't route it, now you can route it any way you want. You can route any input from your sound card to any track in Pro Tools. So go here on your input output module, left click, come down to interface, and you'll see all the channels we just created that are mono. You can choose any one you like, and your track is set up. Ready to record. Go back up to track. Let's create another one. Once again, we'll create a mono audio track. 
click on Create. And once again, on the Input Output module, left click, go down to Interface, and we can choose any input we want. We don't have to go in sequential order. We can use any way we see fit. Okay, now let's create some stereo tracks. Go up to Track, New, and leave everything else the same for the exception of Stereo. Create your track, and we'll come down here, left click on the path, and it automatically chose one of the stereo inputs. Go down to Interface, we can choose any one we just created. Now you have the power to actually use any input from your sound card in any fashion that you choose, mono or stereo, and route them in any direction you like. We hope this has helped you, and please check out other videos we have. Take care.